Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy K Crypto here. So let's dive into a video on governance, Tower Rebels, who are Tower Rebels, and why do we need governance? Why do we need staking? And uh, why are proposals so important and why they will continue to be very important throughout the future of Luna Classic and USTC. So uh, yeah, let's get the statement up directly from Raider um, in the Discord. So Radio has stated, I would like again to make a clear statement regarding all those posts above about our current focus. Our focus is and always has been on restoring the governance to the way it was supposed to work as described in the official documentation. We are, we are including the 1.2% burn tax functionality too because of a pro proposal was made that was passed to do that. Going forward, our focus will be directly directed by the Terra Classic community through the future governance proposals that are passed. We will provide assistance to those who are creating proposals to ensure the proposals contain the sufficient detail and clarity that they have that they can be acted on by development. We may also submit our own proposals, of course, for the community to vote on. The clear message is that the Terra Classic roadmap will be governed and defined by the community, not Terra Rebels. And uh, a lot of people are asking me, Jay, who are Terra Rebels? Who are these people? Is it TFL? Are these TFL developers? And the answer to that is no, folks, they're not. They're a team of uh, very professional, uh, well-educated um, individuals that have all come together to solve a problem um, that has been brought toward them. And uh, as they've stated there, their only goal is to fix all these issues but at the same time they can only put the proposals up for you folks to vote on you will always have to as a community guide and govern this system and that's why we have a governance so now moving over to terror station and the governance so a lot of people don't know this but if you just tap into past and you can go and see just how many proposals are submitted all the time and uh, it's really important to keep doing this because this is how you develop a coin, a community and an ecosystem. You need to keep working on it. The community needs to be heard. And this is why staking is so important because this brings in everybody. This brings in everything, everybody. You'll be able to stake your coins, to earn more coins, to do whatever you want with them. Um, you'll be creating loads of transactions for um, validators to um, um, approve. And there's just so many more things that go into it. But I can't stress enough the um, matter of the fact is that people are saying, well, it's proposal after proposal after proposal after proposal. And this is just not the case. It's always been like this and it always will be like this. OK, and I, I understand a lot of people are asking when this, when that, when this. And I say, go back and watch our previous videos that we're providing here because they really do contain a lot of the information that people are asking especially if you're misinformed, new to the scene, or just haven't heard about us before, it's always good to go back and watch those videos. But um, like I'm saying, as you can see, there's absolutely loads of proposals that get passed all the time and have to be voted on. And like Raider's saying, they can only pretty much open a door, put the proposals up, and you folks as a community will vote on everything. And I'm pretty sure it's literally going to be on everything and anything that's happening with the community but the main goal is to get the governance restored because without having order in the governance we it just nothing can work it, we need the governance back online and, and that's it everything else comes after that okay folks and we don't have time um uh, times set out for everything we don't have dates set out for everything because we're not working like that anybody posting on twitter saying that Oh, the burn implementation 1.2% tax is in the final stages of testing. Its, it's release is imminent. And this is the same thing that's happening with Shabarium. People are saying its release is imminent, trying to keep things hyped when they really don't need to. And they just need to tell the truth and let people know where they stand and how long they're in this for. So um, moving really over to proposals themselves. The only one we've got at the moment that is whitelisted, that is very important, is 4095. And this is what is going to give governance back, okay? And uh, once this is passed, they'll pretty much come out, they'll write, they'll put all of their code together, everything will be done, 
they'll have an update ready and then they'll present that to the validators. And like I said, they don't need TFL to be on board. Yes, if we had a couple of their developers, it would definitely speed the process up, but we only need around two thirds of the validators to be on board with this, okay, folks? So once again, asking you to apply pressure to all of the validators that are on the terrace.stake.id list and uh, ask them, are you um, gonna be accepting the software update? Will you be, do you know what I mean, supporting the community and always be polite, always be respectful and just get your point across. And the good news is folks, this proposal is at 32.88%. So we're less than, um, yeah, so it's like 7.22% if I'm correct, if my maths are right, until we reach quorum. Okay, once we reach quorum, that's it. We, it's gonna pass, it's all good, it will go through. And the uh, the develop the the sorry excuse me the developers will implement that manually because it is a text proposal. Remember that this is not a parameter change. This is a text proposal. So um yeah, please do keep the pressure on, folks. You can see which validators haven't voted, which ones have voted. Like I said, Orion always leave it till last minute to vote. And uh, yeah, stay safe out there. Beware of scammers, doppelgangers, anybody pretending to be me. And uh, yes, yeah, not financial advice. Catch you in the next one. Shloop.